Hey FanFit, my name is Martin Reeder, 2012 Beach Volleyball Olympian for Team Canada. We're down here today at uh, Ashbridge's Bay. We're here to do a sand conditioning workout. We're gonna be doing some sprinting, working on our hearts and lungs, getting that aerobic capacity in. But more importantly, we're just learning how to move in sand and get our feet and muscles in our legs used to that. So I just finished uh, the Martin Reader on the beach training session. Martin, why don't you walk us through what we just completed? So this for me is called legs and lungs. We did three different conditioning chunks, 30 seconds of work, 30 seconds of rest times six, and then we split that up with about four minutes of recovery time in between each set. Awesome. Now look, say I'm just getting into sport or just getting into fitness. I want to try a workout like that, but I'm not sure. What would you advise for someone that's kind of at a beginner intermediate level? The goal with conditioning is never to go so hard early and then you die. So try to complete a workout at a certain level. And if you can complete it consistently, well then the next time you enter it, you can ratchet it up a little bit. So don't be intimidated into this. You can even go at 40, 50% and get a great workout for those uh, athletes they're taking things a little more serious yeah. and they really want to see performance improvements and they, they want to get a great workout what are some final tips for someone about to really tackle this start to finish moving in sand a couple things drive your arms to get the feet out of the sand a little bit more so don't just think it's just running and there's no arms when you're running it's a full body exercise and two is try to hit those last five seconds of the rep you always want to peter off running for 30 seconds hard is tough but those last five seconds that's where the meat and potatoes really is within each repetition. So do your best to finish strong and also start strong for that matter. Now there's a phenomenon called sand legs, which is a part of the beach volleyball sport where when you get into the sand for the first time, it's like you can't jump. It's like you're jumping out of quicksand. So the average volleyball match is about 40 to 45 minutes. We play a best of three set up to 21 points. So it's really important for a beach volleyball athlete who is playing in tournaments, let's say you're playing two to four matches in one day, you have to be able to have strong, powerful outbursts, but you need to be able to recover quickly. Um, so with that said, we got some athletes here behind us where they're working on service receive, jumping strong, jumping high. They need to be able to recover in very short amounts of time as you jump probably 100, 150 times in one match. So a part of this running protocol is gonna allow for people to learn how to recover, get their legs strong, but also teach that lactic acid to move out very quickly. So the beautiful thing about moving in the sand is it's a skill unto itself. And that skill I'd like to say is about 20 to 30% more difficult than just running on a hard surface in your shoes. So whether you're training for the Olympics or you just wanna get fit or active, moving in the sand, coming down to the beach in bare feet is such an amazing experience for you. But also moving in sand in general is a great thing to have. So come on down to the beach and get it, FanFit.